Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we are talking about a topic that is less of a photography skill, more of a life skill, and that is how to fail well. See, in your photography journey, let's stick to photography, this is a photography channel after all, you're going to try new things, hopefully, and when you try new things, inevitably the first few times, maybe you'll have success early on, but eventually you are going to mess up. And depending on the stakes involved, if it's a wedding and you mess up a wedding, you might have bride throwing shoes at you. Who knows what might happen? It might get crazy. But usually, usually it's just between you and yourself. You go, you put your files on your computer, you look at them, and they don't, they didn't come out as gorgeous and glorious and amazing as you intended. And sidebar, don't delete things off the back of your camera, ever. The back of your camera has been designed by four men in a shed with a power welder trying to make an LCD screen. It's not a great screen. Excuse me, Nikon Canon, everybody, but I'm just saying, no. Anyway, you get home, you look at your stuff, it's not as good as you thought it was. And that can be really hard because that kind of takes away the glory and the fun and the, yay, I did something cool because you did something and it didn't come out cool. It kind of came out meh. So here's how you deal with meh. First of all, get that camera, go out again, shoot more photos. Cause the feelings of meh, well, are only temporary, are only based on your last experience. So all you gotta do is get a new experience and then the feelings of, eh, I'm not a good photographer, will you probably say, oh cool, here's my latest work and it's really awesome. The other thing you can do, besides going out and doing more things blindly, is to look back on those, don't harp on them for too long, look back and analyze what you did and what went wrong. Was the lighting no good? Maybe you should go a different time of day. Maybe the subject didn't work out. Maybe it was the wrong season for this kind of photo. Maybe the lens that you were using that day wasn't the proper lens for the subject. And so you can do that is you can go back to that same place, that same subject and improve it and fix your problem, fix the mistakes of the past as you can keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. And that will actually help you improve. Two things not to do. Number one, don't take it personally. There are a million factors that go into making a good photo. There is the light, there is the sun, there is the, your location, there's where you live, there's what kind of gear you have, there is your level of experience and the knowledge of how to set up your camera, and there's a million things that can go wrong, and there's a million things that have to go right to make an amazing image. Which means that if it does, something does go wrong, don't take it that, ooh, I'm a bad photographer, I'm a terrible human being, I should throw it in a camera and trade in for beer money. It just means that you had a bad day. Move on, go out, take more photos, You'll get better tomorrow. The baby's kind of being very vocal, so we're gonna speak up for this bit. The other bit that you should not do is blame other people or be defensive about the quality of your work. So, for example, if you're just starting, there's no reason to be defensive of your work. You don't have these thousands, hundreds and thousands of hours of effort put into this that you can say, I am an expert and I know what I'm talking about, because when you're starting off, you don't, and you're not, and you haven't. So. Now is the time to improve. Now is the time to say, yeah, I made a mistake. I'm going to do better tomorrow. Here's what, I, here's what I can improve on, and let's do it. So you start off with an attitude of, I am the greatest artist that's ever lived because I have the greatest taste, and I have the best gear that has ever been, which that might be true. But you start off with this attitude, you're never going to improve your photography because why would you change? Because you are the best, and you have, there's no reason for that, anything to happen. Hold that thought. Oh, wow, look at that gloriousness anyway and if you do that there's really no reason for you to change and there's no way that's going to happen but if you remain open to the possibility of change you remain open to the possibility that your work can improve and you look at the work of others you see the work of others you look at your own work honestly you can improve your work massively by doing that by tweaking and changing and adapting your practices to be better to be more effective and to improve the likelihood that you will actually may manage to execute the artistic image that you have instead of whatever happens to end up in front of your camera so i hope you all enjoyed this uh, this has been my quick opinion bit from my gopro on sundays if you've noticed this has been done us a couple weeks now uh anyway i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful day if you like this feel free to subscribe comment with any of your personal photo tips or failure stories or ways you overcame stuff. I'd love to hear that. And as always, I wish you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy Thanksgiving, although by the time you see this, it'll be Sunday after. Bye-bye. <laughs>